Well, we made it to uh, Monday, the 13th of April. Another week of the COVID pandemic experience. Um, hope everyone is still hanging tough. Um, it's been interesting. The um, weekend was interesting. Uh, obviously, I didn't go anywhere, but, uh, you know, um, I disconnected from um, popular, ho popular holidays a long, long time ago for a number of reasons. And, be, and the main thing I want to say about religion is that once I really started studying it deeply, and I have studied quite a, quite a bit, um, including going to monastery. The main thing I have to say about religion is that isn't it interesting that something is supposed to be so based on um, positive tenets has caused so much bloodshed, so much division, and even to this day keeps people divided. You know, it's far. It's, my experience tells me that religion has nothing to do with the truth, nothing. And so I, I, I respect people and I respect the fact that many people's lives are based around their religious beliefs. So I love them and I show respect to individuals, but, but uh, I don't respect organized. No. And I want to tell you, I want to tell people that, no, I don't respect organized religions control. I don't like that. Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, I started um, a new a new piece of, of sound work yesterday. We'll see how that goes. Um, at this point, really just Focusing on staying centered and just moving along in time. Um, there came a point yesterday where it was important to just really turn everything off and just sit, mainly because I was having power surges and power outages um, throughout Omaha. We had a big um, windstorm come through. We didn't get the snow, thankfully, but so when that happened, I just said, "Okay, well, just uh, that's an indication. Just, just, just be, just sit," you know. And it was fine. And I'm glad, thank God I can do it because I am seeing, again, where many people are succumbing to anxiety and, and, and panicking. I'm sorry to see it. But I also understand it. So hang tough, people. Hang in there. I did listen to Passion, The Sources, compiled by Peter Gabriel you know, for basically work, things that inspired him on his way to creating the soundtrack for the Passion of Christ. Of course, that was brought up quite a bit in the um, vinyl community yesterday because of Easter, people showing the album Jesus Christ Super, Superstar. I no longer own a copy. I did. I played in an orchestra locally. I forget where we did it, but I played in a pit orchestra. Jesus Christ Superstar, the bass. Um, one of the few um, gigs where I had to read, of course, I, I, I faked a lot of it. I just learned the songs, you know, but I did try to read, you know. There does seem to be a bit of dyslexia going on with that for me. I Maybe not, but it seems like I've always had difficulty reading um, music. John McRae, who was um, in the VC yesterday, was showing his... Catherine Wheel's collection, and it's impressive he has things that I don't have. I have a big collection, too. But I showed some things I didn't see in here. This was one. Um, Gasoline, single from their, their last album, Wishville, which was, which, was a, which was a letdown. It was an unfortunate, you know, the uh, gas had run out of the car, and it sounded like it. I thought that Catherine Wheel was brilliant and had the... Uh, potential to be a great, great band. 
Storm Thorgerson, who did most of the Pink Floyd covers through Hypnosis, did the um, a number of Catherine Wheel covers with the, the same thought. He thought they were great, that they had the potential for greatness. I don't know why it didn't happen. Other records I played because, again, this is what I'm doing. I watched some documentaries. I haven't watched a movie yet all the way through. I've never been a big movie watcher. I can go for years without sitting through an entire movie. But I played this, The Millennium Begin. Um, and it made me think of, <laughs> well, I won't say it because I, I'm not going to invite him back, all right? It just made me think of some people as I listened to this because this is real kind of twee, sugary, um, sunshine pop um, put together by Kurt B Betcher and Gary Usher and another guy that just passed away who was also in The Music Machine and lived in South Dakota. Oh, I, his name just escapes me, but people I know knew, knew the guy. Keith Olsen, I think is the name. I love this album. This is an original. It doesn't have the insert, but this is one of those records where it's now, I look to see, you know, my copy is mint. Without the insert, most of them don't. And these go for upwards of three to five hundred bucks. But I love this album. It's, um, it is like, uh, like taking a sunny cruise. But I mean that in a positive way now because, because the virus cruises are really taking it cruise ships may <laughs> may be done we'll see what happens with that whole industry played this all the way last night man is this fantastic Esperanza Spalding Emily's D Evolution this woman is a force and just what I love she is the epitome of a progressive musician this album is so, so fresh, progressive, and pushing in many directions. Uh, I love that within all the heavy music statements, she takes the time to make her statement as an individual and as a woman working in this field. She's badass. Esperanza Spalding, y'all. Uh, got into that big time last night. Played this song by Peter Gabriel, that voice again. This is just a 12-inch single of it. Great song. I love Peter Gabriel. Love him. And then this popped up. I was just going through my... I said, let me just find some records I haven't played. Zeke Manjika, who came to my attention through the band The The. He was in that band for a while. Matt Johnson produces this. This is a 12-inch single. And... Um, I got to thinking, well, let me play this because of the title, Bible Belt, you know. And <laughs> this is way into where my head is at. He's talking about the way that the um, Bible has been used against black people and minor people of color throughout time. Particularly talking about South Africa. They believe in the chosen race chosen by the color of a face so the devils kneel before God and offer him black blood and that's still going on to this day love to you Ron Anderson if you see this I, I, I peeped that New York Times um, article that you showed me where the working class which is primarily minorities don't have any choice about this virus and they're having to take the subway and this is unfair. It's really unfortunate that the the inequity of economy is really showing its ugly ugliness now. And even it even at that, the one tenth of one percent just want to get it back to that. We just want things to go back to normal. Not me. Not that normal. Unfair world. All this music belongs to me, regardless of the color of my skin. I'm a citizen of the world. I don't have to listen to just black music because I'm black. I listen to whatever the hell I, I, I want. And I'm well aware of the inequity of the world 
you know, the devilishness of, of, of white privilege and, and all that. But that doesn't mean I, I don't like the people or the music. I'm well aware of reality. And I've been a freedom fighter since a teen. Mobius with Tim Story and Lydecker. Snow Goes Pieces. This is a strange album. It's cool, but it's strange. Best way to put it. It's uh, got Mobius and this other guy put the things on top of Tim Story's piano work that sometimes is just kind of weird mostly I like it but there's other parts it's like well these are some strange sounds what what is this all about ambient electronic album I love Jürgen Mueller which apparently is a pseudonym which I posted this online and found out that a long-distance BC friend over in Poland knows this guy but this is a great album science of the sea it's really burbles and bubbles. It was put out with um, kind of a false story that this was made in 1982, which is a lie, but it sounds like it. It sounds like it was made way in the past. It's really, really special. Not the, not all the songs, but in particular, the way that it starts. It starts like, well, that could just go on forever. Bubbling, beautiful electronics kind of hazy, like you're seeing through the mist into another world. Oh, I love this album, Science of the Sea. Someone said this to me, um, German band doing uh, the English version of progressive rock, Neuschwanstein, Battlement. And this is a strange, again, I'm using the words coming up, because this is a weird mix. You can tell that this these guys are working at trying to get this idea of this sound together but they don't actually know what they're doing which makes it kind of cool the lyrics are absolutely terrible it really ruins it michael brook came to my attention through brian eno i think he's a canadian guitarist this he made with eno and daniel lenoir hybrid this is just gorgeous instrumental um really really warm the sound of this album is warm, beautiful, comforting, comforting. The last thing I'll show is, um, again, with the uh, day in mind yesterday that it was Easter, you know, and I can't explain things through words sometimes. I have a reverence for um, life, but it's beyond religion, and I, I do have a problem with religion and, and I, I want to say so um, but this reverence and spirituality that I feel and and love comes through and so I played this Inside the Cathedral by Paul Horn he recorded this at um, the Casimiris Cathedral in Vilnius Lithuania Similar to the album he made at the Taj Mahal, Inside, that's a really famous album. This is just beautiful. It's very spirit-filled, the natural reverb, as well as the, the atmosphere that I'm sure that Paul Horn picked up being in the cathedral, is all throughout his playing. This is very reverent, calming, centering, very spiritual, beautiful, beautiful music. So that's what I have to say today. People have keep asking me, have you heard of, have you heard of, and nine out of 10 people, it's yes. <laughs> Honestly, 